Heavenly Father, today, what did you prepare for us? Give us, show us now, and answer us our prayers. Lord, be with us and bless us for our life only for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I read again second chapter, second Timothy chapter two, verse one to six. <clears throat> second chapter, second Timothy chapter two, verse one to six. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things you have heard me say in the presence of my many witnesses in trust to reliable men who will also be qualified to teach others, endures hardship with us like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs he wants to please the, his commanding officer. Similarly, if anyone comes as an uh, athlete, he doesn't receive the victor's crown unless he competes according to the rules. The hard-working farmer should be the first to receive a share of the crops. Reflect on what I'm saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all this. Amen. You know another uh, last verses. I want to uh, sing with you, but just uh, this is a Korean version. So just wait a minute. I'll come back. of Jesus Christ. Lord, uh, this generation, our generation, and our world needs your shining glory, your grace. We're waiting your kingdom. Come, your light, your kingdom. Pour upon us your spirit.
Can you hear me? Good. Check Second Timothy is verse second two, verse two. In there, you will find some word, adjective word, relative noun, person that is reliable. Reliable. What is that? Reliable. Yeah. Just word. Just word. Yeah. Thank you. Dependable. Yeah, great. Thank you. Another? Yeah, great. Thank you. Reliable in here. Greek word that is pistos. Pistos means faithful, faithful, trusty, trustworthy. First, second, Book of Timothy, St. Paul wrote for spiritual son to Timothy. If you will be excellent pastors, if you want to be excellent pastors, you need that. So St. Paul wrote for it these books. In there, maybe in your ministries, you need some peoples. The people's first condition is reliable, reliable. This means pist pistos. Pistos means faithful, trustworthy, and valuable, excellent. How can we be faithful in Christ as a church leader, as a saint in the world? We have to be qualified in there. He is available to teach others. Be qualified to teach others in there. As a pistos, as a sincere people, as a church leaders, they have to be qualified, verified. After that, they can be a church leader. In my ministry, I need a person to be qualified and pistos. I need it. Like St. Paul need the peoples. I ask you, are you sincere in Christ? Yeah. Really? Yes. Are you qualified by what? Yeah, be qualified. Yes, be qualified. After you are qualified by what? By the Word of God, by the Holy Spirit, by other peoples among us. He will be leaders. I want to be leaders. I have to be qualified. I, would, I have to be trained. I want to be educated. If you do not get it, trained education without that, you cannot. You have to experience as a proof, evidence. And after that, you get it, church leaders. I will read another passage.
1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 5. Whatever mission Saul sent to David on, David was so successful that Saul gave him a high rank in the army. This pleased all the troops and Saul's officers as well. Chapter 18, verse 13 to 15. So he sent David away from him, Saul, and gave him command over a thousand men, and David led the troops in their campaign. In everything he did, he had great success. The Palestine commanders continued to go out to battle as, a, as often as they did. David met with more successful than the rest of Saul's officers. You know the relationship between King Saul and King David. Saul does not want to be a king, David. So he want to be just his son, Jonathan, king, right? But about all things, David better than his son, Jonathan. So he want to kill David. So many times he purchased him, he tried to kill him, but he didn't. Why? God protect David because the purpose next king will be David. Reliable peoples have to be qualified. After qualification, they can do everything in Christ in God's purpose. After David tried or passed, he did. He did. He did. He did. Whenever he was sent by Saul, he did there. He was there and with successfulness. That is to be qualified. Second, second chapter, second uh, Timothy, chapter 2, verse 3, in there you will find some word. A good soldier of Christ Jesus. A good soldier. That means, good means, good means, Carlos. Carlos. Carlos means beautiful, excellent, precious, honorable. That is good. Carlos. What is Carlos? What is good? Really, when I, whenever I saw a woman, beautiful, oh my God, that is good, right? Like you, your smile, thank you. <laughs> whenever I see him, she is so tall, oh, better than me. Yeah, that is handsome, yeah, that is good. That is Carlos. That means Skillful, useful, benefitable, unquenchable. That is Carlos. A good soldier of Jesus Christ. Good, this means from Jesus Christ. Good soldier, where he does he belong to? Jesus Christ. So, the good soldier just serve for him. Good soldier just please him. Just good soldier belong to Jesus Christ. Do you belong to? Do you belong to Jesus Christ? Again, I say, I ask you. Do you belong to Jesus Christ? Yes. Really? Yes. Why? If that is truth, why worry about your life? You belong to Jesus Christ. You are son of God. You are daughter of God. You are children of God. You are people of God. Why? You are worried about your life. Why you are worried about your families? Why worry you about your future? Really? You were qualified by the Holy Spirit? 
as a saint, as a church leader, as a key man of church, among the world, with confidence, say yes. 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 You are the children of God. You are people of God. Don't worry about your life. Why? You belong to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will provide you. Jesus Christ support will support you whenever you ask. Whatever you ask. That means good soldier. We have some problem with money. Direct to go to church and hear, Lord, give me money. <laughs> That's it. Don't you understand? I'm not joking. Seven years ago, I was here with no money. But in here, now I have a house, I have a car. Not good, it's okay. <laughs> with my families. Every day I have food to eat. 10 years ago, 10 years ago, my father, by God, he called my father so I do not have a father. But that is May 5th, May 5th, right? May 5th. But in here I met some other pastors. He was born May 5th, May 5th. So, I call him. You are my father. God gave me. Thank God. But he is American. I'm Korean. He is from typical German. <laughs> but Here's David Bankins. <laughs> I am now a St. Peter with him, be with him. <laughs> he provided all things of my life with my family. He didn't say anything. Because of culture in America, so many trouble to me. With my heart, I did. But some Culture is different. Language, you know, my language is a little different. So trouble is all things. But he didn't say anything about my mistaken. Pastor, I love you. That's it. Understand what I'm saying? Because of him, because of him, I just in here. Whenever I say something, Pastor, I belong to you. I just follow you. That's it. Without you, I do not reason in New York. Several churches call me. But without you, I'm nothing, meaningless. I just hear because of you. He didn't anything else, but he provided me. Sometimes, during so many times, so many times, so many times before him, I cry out, Lord, help me. But he didn't say anything else. But whenever I go there, he prepared four foot and four car and four another clothes for me. House too. I am belong to David Bankes in Christ. Like that, just I say, okay? I talked about real word. I belong to Jesus Christ. Don't worry about your life, your health, your some trouble. Why? You belong to, like me, Jesus Christ. Whenever you something need something, don't worry about your life. Lord, I need it. That's it. And go there, you'll find some blessing from God. To belong, to belong. I belong to Jesus Christ. With confidence, as you know, you belong to Jesus Christ. 
That means Christos. Beautiful, wonderful. So you cannot something wrong with your confidence just because of Jesus Christ. Because of Jesus Christ, you have to go straight in purpose of God for you. That means good soldier. You serve the Lord, that means Christos, good. You are sincere, faithful, wonderful. That is good. Pistos. You are soldier for the Lord. Reliable people have to be qualified. Good soldier. Soldier already was qualified. Good soldier of Jesus Christ. Verse 6. In there, Verse 6, hard-working farmer, hard-working farmer. You work hard, right? You work hard for your families. Who work hard for your family, for your life, for your future? Why? Why? Ah, yeah, for Torah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You remember that? Genesis chapter 3. After sin, after sin, we have to work hard every day just for food, for a living. If we did not, do not, against God's word, we can find all around the world, from all around the world, we find the food and house, and all things. But chapter after chapter 3, Genesis, after that, God threw away, God put us the other way, where is that? Outside the Garden of Eden, right? We have suffering, toil. After that, event, after sin, we have to work hard just for a living. It's okay for a living. We have to work for hard. But if you are tired, if you are tired, if you get wearied, what should we do? What should you do? In here, hard working means in here, kopiao. Kopiao means from separate. Separate. After separate, we have to kopiao. We have to be sad. We have to be tired. We have to lost. We are just mourning. We have to toil. That is hard working. Kopiao. Because we separate from God, the blessing of God, we just have to work hard. When you are tired, come to Jesus Christ. Come back. Come back. Join His grace. We need just grace. Working hard, working hard, hard-working farmers just work for food. If we are, if we just work for the food, we are not Christian. We have just mission for the Lord. He called with his purpose for us. What is Purpose of God for yourself. Remember that. Because of you work hard, you are tired. Don't do that more, be tired. We need just God's grace before the sin. God prepared all things God prepared for you. We just take it. 
we can just take in his cross, his grace. Do not walk hard more. If you feel tired, stop there and come to church, come to cross, and listen to his voice. Lord, sorry, I was far from you, but I want to join with you. I want to be near you. God will let you know what he prepared for yourself, for your families, for your future. God will let you know. When you are tired, remember, already you are reliable person to be qualified. Remember that when you are tired, when you are sad, remember, you are good soldier of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ provide you. When you get exhausted, all things exhausted, remember, you are, do not need work hard. We just need grace. God did already prepared for yourself his grace. The Lord be with you. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.